Hello there, YouTube. This is Simpleton Bits back at it again with another Inkbound Daily. Today is the daily for October 18th, and we will be cl playing Clairvoyant, going from Silent Promenade into Proving Grounds, and then up against Runestone. Our daily quest is to Daze or Critically Hit. Probably Critically Hit, because we have uh, Rainbow in play. So, it's just easier for us to gain like a ton of stats, uh, preferably... Ability power if available, but uh, crits very good and I would be willing to go either physical or magic power here Probably magic power because that's where our Crit augs are Is on pulse. Unfortunately, it's a white aug and then of course um, We have both a white and a purple I believe for uh, spirit bomb We would obviously want the purple Otherwise, just looking at everything else here, vestiges can't be dropped, we don't care, uh, ink wash, we generally don't care. It means that we can't really pivot into something like, um, poison vapor or incendiary, because obviously those things don't do anything. But, as far as clairvoyance is concerned, we don't do any of that stuff anyways. So, that one's kind of a freebie for us, uh, magnetic vestiges can't be dropped is kind of a freebie for us. We're basically just playing a clairvoyant run here. We've got Blessing of Misplaced Nobility. So this is going to give us some a little bit of free damage across the course of the run, which is appreciated. But notably, in early fights, we're going to have less HP. And most notably, we will not gain enough max HP in order to get our, um, our HP threshold. So we need at least one item with plus HP on it, or to grab a shrine that has plus HP on it. My number one goal is uh, don't die. The last two runs we have died. The... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. I'll take five ability power in the first fight. As well as scaling. Anyways, uh, the first one that we lost, which would have been two days ago, was admittedly a spicy run. Uh, by the time that we were playing, we died against the first boss and still made the front page. So a lot of people were having difficulties with it. Yesterday, though, um, we were just struggling the obelisk life, or more accurately, the, the turn based obelisk life, turn limit obelisk life. And, uh, well, we were notably doing worse than everybody else. Like, it definitely... How do I put this? We were at, like, the bottom two pages. So while I was struggling, and I was like, yeah, this is going to be a little bit difficult. Apparently, it wasn't that difficult, because literally nobody else was having problems. They were chilling. I was told that uh, in the comments of the last video that there was a Cultivate that wasn't offered to me. So I would have had to have re-rolled on the right one in order to get access to it, and I don't know, like I, <laughs> uh, notably, okay, just okay, anyways, uncommon augment, allies hit gain one shield, I don't think that that's actually going to be technically good, I kind of like hexing telekinesis, uh, it's uh, another free damage multiplier that we normally don't have access to. Otherwise, charge spirit bombs, okay. It's very possible that we could end up with a full spirit bomb every single turn, which would be, like, pretty good, honestly. But if we take this, then we're likely not going to get any plus crit on anything. <sighs> I don't know, man. Charged Spirit Bomb also doesn't help our fight one at all. I could almost see a reroll here. If we get something like um, Grievous Pulse, that'd be kind of good. Hexing R just seems like it's the thing that I'm supposed to take here. It's good. We are going to reroll though. Charging Pulse giving us double the psionic charges. Okay, now that's notable. That is notable. I'm willing to take that. So now we can actually spirit bomb turn one. With a pulse orb pulse, maybe position the orb and then spirit bomb. So 
is that enough to actually get our first fight? Well, with the Mercurial, it definitely seems like it. Alright, what are we trying to do? I could see us wanting to buy stuff. But we might want this Tarnish Vault again, just because it can give us literally everything. Or anything, for that matter. Could even be a, uh, a second Heart of the Last Lifeless. That'd be kind of nice, wouldn't it? Alright, let's do this. You have 500. That is... <sighs> okay. I think we have to go here. Pulse. Orb. Pulse. And there... There's just no way that we would have been close enough. That's admittedly a little upsetting. Okay. I'm trying to think of what else we possibly could have done there. We got a Mercurial, so we actually could have Pulse, Pulse, Pulse with um, Orb plus Mercurial. Had three, used a Spirit Bomb. Obviously, even our current Spirit Bomb didn't kill him. If we would have had plus 100, then it would have. Um, we wouldn't have been able to have moved our orb, though, because we would have used it on pulse instead of telekinesis. And, obviously, the clustering of the bomb bits wasn't close enough anyways, so it's kind of a moot point. On hitting inflict shocked, I... Is that actually good? I guess I don't see how it's bad. There's some crit chance. The shielding is... pretty tempting. I don't think that we necessarily need it, though. A little bit more magic power would certainly help. But I would much rather start going towards our crit over there. Let's grab a... Well, actually... That's interesting. Because now it's just one pulse spirit bomb. Hmm. Not sure that was correct. Hmm. Okay, after image. After image is notably good for um runestone because having one evasive is good. It gives us crit, which allows us to start working towards our uh, objective. I kind of just wish that I would take Grasp, though. It's just good. And plus, if we open with a Grasp, or Pulse, Grasp something close, Spirit Bomb it, we're at full charge, we share half of that damage across with everybody on the screen. Currently, that's not exciting. Right? That's only like... I don't know, this would probably add in this... Um, It'd be somewhere around uh, 150 damage to everything, which is uh, like quite notable, honestly. Oh, you're also marked. Hmm. Okay. Let's have some fun. Do I want a green og? Or actually any og is what this is. I think I almost want stats right now. Any og... We have Grasp. We could reduce its cooldown, theoretically speaking. We could get a Crit Aug on Spirit Bomb. It's just like a lot of things that it could be. Uh, Binding Empowerment just seems bad. And Hovel, I... Like, again, that could technically be anything, but I would rather just have, like, 
any random selection of three stats, I feel is almost better. Like, not technically, but... See, now here I could see taking three shielding. We are going to need to protect our elf health towards the, the end game here. I could also just see physical power. We could pivot into a pinball wizard if we get the augments. At this point in the game, if we're not going to binding empowerments, that's likely not going to happen. Or I could grasp mercurial grasp mercurial. <laughs> I don't know, is that good? I think it's silly not to take shielding here. It really doesn't help us, which is what we were coming here for, but... Another hard combat here for a vestige. I'm not sure that I'm particularly about the glyphs. Okay. According to plan, hit this. This is critting. I'm kind of afraid that you're gonna that you were gonna get blocked by that bit there. And that's an insane amount of damage. Thank you. Okay. We're going to just walk on out here. That was probably unnecessary. was kind of a waste. Give me a hook. And we're done. Hmm. Okay, Volcus is pretty interesting. Gives us an additional will with which we can do something with. If we don't need to use it, then we can keep it till next turn. Which, I mean, us with extra will is a pinball wizard. <laughs> and we didn't take physical damage? I don't know. Maybe it's Study of Windsong. We're trying to crit anyways. Chance for marked on enemies is still kind of nice. This could also be a reroll. Have we rerolled any vestiges? I don't think that we have. I could re-roll this. Huh. Now that's freaking weird. We currently only have one aura, but... Um, okay. So I can get three ability power, or I can get two ability power and maximum HP. Due to Heart of the Last Lifeless. I don't know. There's our crit. We'll take it. I don't even know what we want in this build. Jinx wouldn't be bad. It's definitely not these. I could almost see an invigorate. That's going to be a bit extraneous once we get towards the end of the game, though. Because we're going to have, um... What is it? Seven... Ability power from blessing a misplaced nobility. And we're going to have like. What? We hit a plus 15. So we're going to have 75 plus 10 there. So plus 17. Invigorate ain't going to do shit. I really don't want to re-roll here, so I guess we take Broccoli. It does something. I don't intend on doing anything with it. Again, us with extra will is just... Pinball Wizard. We obviously didn't have enough money here, but seeing that there is both a Zephyrian and Heart of the Last Lifeless here is very interesting. If we would have went towards the, uh, the Quillings on the first fight, or gotten better with RNG, 
Hashtag get good. We also rerolled once. So I would say that it's probably well within the quilling RNG for us to buy a second Heart of the Last Lifeless. At which point we just have an inordinate amount of damage and we just got to figure out how we're going to crit things. So those of you who went for after image. I actually don't want you next to me. Why would you do this? I guess this is going to do the job anyways, so it doesn't matter. I really don't care about taking damage. I want to be close enough to get this, but also not too far so that when you dash, you're in a weird spot. I think this will do. Oh, that's perfect. Honestly, a bit of a waste. Also, we were offered Volkus's Bond Enhancer with Cultivate. Pinball Wizard line would have actually been pretty disgusting. Okay, Bits. You should have known better. You should have known better. This is turn three. It's actually pretty spicy that he's not dead yet. Trying to think of what else we could possibly do for setup. We really can't. That certainly helps. did it definitely got a little bit tighter than I would like we're obviously taking harpoon potent grasp is uh, terrible <laughs> we're using psychic pulse kind of a lot is that good cultivated strength just to lay down a cultivate pick it up save to will I don't know I don't think that that's very good I think Mighty Pulse is probably what we're looking for here. It's the best of the options, in my opinion. Hello there, Nevis. Take one of those. Um, sure, we'll take physical power out of here. We can't really afford to re-roll it. We want to restore HP. Now we're up at, what is it, six ability power, I believe, from um, Heart of the Last Lifeless. I'm 
I actually like the spacing here. Okay. Bonus damage to enemies with burn. We don't burn. Inkly map. Eh? Really kind of wish we had Volca's Bond Enhancer right now. That'd be kind of sick with Inkly map. We need a lot of will in order for that to be felt, though. I think I'm actually going to reroll here. That is an aura. It also marks enemies, which is kind of disgusting. Uh, Shining Circlet isn't bad either. Gives us access to Harpoon more often. Hmm. I think we're going to go ahead and take Marking Aura, though. Uh, we are using a bunch of uh, magic damage here. I could see plus 7 being a good pick here. I could also see this being a good pick if we somehow got more crit. We currently don't have a lot of crits. I think being more reliable is probably better. That's damage aura. Yeah, I really like that we took the magic damage now. Because that's kind of a big deal. We also now have three auras, so we get six ability power for free due to our um, seer shards. Vengeful Infusion is kind of fun. Um, no. Just no. Like, maybe. Like, Super Spirit Bomb triples the damage, I guess. I don't know. I also don't get to use it every other turn. <laughs> Or I get to use it on first, second, not third turn. It's probably actually the right move, especially with Giannis here. We can maybe get a negative one cost to it. Then it's normal spirit bomb, but better. Do we go to a binding empowerment in order to make that happen? I don't know. More stats, try to get more crit. Feeling that a little bit more. This isn't oozing jelly. I kind of want that. There's more crit damage. Game wire, you like this? I'll tell you what, though. When we crit. All right. Huh. That's pretty good. We can hook this. You'll still be marked. Now you're shocked. We don't care about your damage resistance. We do have to get out of this, though. Mm. 
Hmm, not sure that I want to use that, actually. Okay. Oh, dear lord. Tell you what, Ulamas isn't bad simply to get us crits. I really don't like taking it. We have a lot of health now. I don't think we need more shielding. Famous last words. Give us more crit damage. Double crit bomb. Okay. Now we're talking. Just how insane do I really gotta be here? Honestly, all of our damage is again in magic. I feel like taking this magic power is just the better idea. Alright. So yeah, apparently this run's going a lot better than the other ones. You're already marked. I'm going to just ignore the fact that uh, we shock you on first hit, because that's uh, in our best interest. And we're just going to phase you immediately. Next turn. We are probably going to have to take this bad boy. Get some crits out. Yeah, I feel like we're just fine. In fact, I think we can take this hit. We don't have to worry about it. That is another crit on Super Spear Bomb. Kind of disgusting. This is going to crit on two people. We are sucking major on our run quest. I don't think we're going to get it. We have one more fight to get 16 crits. We need a miracle. Our Surge is a lot of freaking damage. Maybe having a lot of freaking damage isn't good because it reduces our likelihood of getting crits. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the run quest. Did we take all possible opportunities for crit? I feel like we probably passed one up. I don't know why I would do that, though, because of the fact that I knew that it was a daily, but I've... I've missed things before. I'll tell you what, we can take Critical Grasp. That'll get us some crits. Theoretically, this adds like a ton of damage to us. Gives us one shielding. One shielding's pretty good. But, um... The way I'm looking at it is that that damage is, for the most part, irrelevant. Like, I guess it's another, like, 60 damage on our Surge. I don't think that that's scaling with our current, um, our current power. And then you get another two ability power here. Yeah. So this is actually quite a bit of damage if we want to spam one. I'm not sure we want to spam one. I need to somehow get 16 crits on 10 enemies. <laughs> To be fair, if this is ink in a box, then they set up four enemies. We get crits on all abilities. We could actually get 16 crits, but it's not going to be easy. Let's grab a little bit more crit chance to help make that happen. That is the weirdest uh, destructible placement I've ever seen. And there's three destructibles here. That's also insanity. It's Tuning Stone. Okay, we're going to have to farm you a bit. But we kind of want to farm you using our weaker abilities. But we're not actually hitting you. 
God, this sucks. God, this sucks. Oh, man. <laughs> There's simply not enough enemies for us to actually crit. Yeah, we got to get 10 crits on two uh, spears. Sorry, a sword and a spear. That's... <laughs> it just can't happen. We missed it by, like, this much. Wait, hold up. This is a little spiced. Okay. We're not being distracted by beautiful celebrities. Get stuffed. I think he was easily dead, but I had a moment of weakness and I needed to make sure. <laughs> uh, well, this would have been useful to me yesterday. That literally would have given it to us. Well, not in that fight. Actually, there was constantly two enemies. Yeah, I suppose it would have given it to us. Maybe? We would have been too short. And we're going to be too short anyways. Frost, Aro, who cares? We can roll this once. Is Gavel of the Dam worth... I don't think that it, it is. <laughs> Screw you, game. <laughs> we'll take Byron the Talking Book. Everything he does, we want. Um... Honestly, just give me more HP. It's kind of shielding, but better at this point. It gave us another one damage off of uh, Heart of the Last Lifeless. Oh, look at that. Cultivated Will does give us one will every three turns. It's not nothing. I would much rather have Catapulting Telekinesis. Huh, funny. I could have bought a second counter assistance. Anyways. So we're going to miss the run quest. Because that's how it works. It fails when you get to the villain. Otherwise, yeah. I could easily have gotten another six crits in here. Um, We missed fight one by one turn. And I think that's it. Otherwise, all of our stuff is looking good, so long as we don't take an inordinate amount of damage. It doesn't matter when we take this, but we'll take this oozing jelly now. Make sure to fight from the top. Perfect. Holy crud. Um, Aura Surge is almost capping him. So if we actually would have taken shielding... Uh, what am I trying to say? Shielding Aura? Probably would have worked. I want to be down towards here. I guess I can pick this up and do that. Seems about right. Alright. Then might as well put this where it needs to be. Pick 
that up. Throw ourselves over yonder. One shot. Oh, we didn't get 40k. It was still an alright run. Considering that I think that we did everything that we possibly could have. Like, there's probably a lot of turns or like at the end of fights where we could have just uh, farmed out telekinesis a bit. Or used spare will between turns to farm out telekinesis a bit. Get some crits. Um, but we just didn't get much crit chance. And you run into that sometimes. That said, I think that we did as good as we possibly could. Like, we we probably could have, again, played that those six crits out. But, everything considered, I'm not too upset. Hopefully the run was entertaining for you guys, or at least educational. If you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to put those down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys around.